Well, usually it's word of mouth. You would probably ask somebody else, you know, who, who if they have um, good experience with somebody. It definitely is, I mean, for interp I mean, I was told when I passed my simultaneous exam that I, I got a one grade better than I would have normally gotten just because my voice is pleasant to listen to. <laughs> Um, you know, I mean, it seems like um, something very insignificant, but I mean, if you think about it and you're at a conference and you have this person's voice in your headphones the whole day, it is important that it's a voice that, that it's not Fran Drescher, you know what I mean? Or Rosie Perez. <laughs> um, and the other thing is, as you mentioned, it's very important that you don't have a strong accent because there might... Be, I mean, if I, if I um, translate or interpret into German, there might be non-German speakers that listen to it. They might be Dutch or they might be Polish, but their German might be better than their English. And so they listen to me. And so as high, I, I have to speak high German, you know, as much without accent and dialect as possible. And then they would look for rates, of course, that you're within the normal range. I mean, some companies might want to cut corners and hire somebody who, you know, is cheaper. I would recommend against that. And I mean, I've actually been on a case in Israel once where I was hired and had to fly over there with them. And, you know, they had to pay for that whole thing just because initially they didn't have a professional for the first, um, for the contract. Well, one of the hardest things is that there is a, especially in German, when English is your foreign language, there is a, a misconception that everybody speaks English. And like, how can you make that a career? And everybody thinks they know so-and-so who is really a doctor, but also speaks eight languages. <laughs> and, and, you know, so people don't really understand how difficult it is to get to that level of proficiency when you are actually a certified translator. And I mean, in Germany, I was sworn in by the court too. Because, you know, you have to be sworn in in order to... I once interviewed someone in prison. <sighs> Never want to go back to that place. But all these things, you know, have to be taken into consideration. And, you know, the nephew of so-and-so who speaks eight languages will never do that. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.